Well, this is what we're doing today. Today is one of those days where it's just great to go outside. But unlike some of my other weekends, this time I decided to rent the bike as opposed to taking one of my own out. Today's bike was an Evis Ripmo AF, and it was rented from a shop known as Pedal Forward, hence all the stickers. Now, I won't go into a parts breakdown of every component, but I will go over some choice things here and there and tell you how it felt, both alone and as a whole. If you're interested in the quick thoughts of the shop, it was a two thumbs up, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Now, the reason I wanted to rent this bike was to try out a couple things for myself. The first was to see how I would feel with a size large full suspension, and the other was to try out a 20 on it for the first time. And give the option, it's better to rent a bike than to commit to something with a full purchase and decide later if it was worth it or not. Initially, at first glance, I was already concerned about how the bike would feel. But in practice, the bike felt incredibly capable. I felt confident and sure of myself, and at no point did I think that the bike wouldn't be able to handle any other terrain. The drivetrain was equipped with a Shimano Dior all around. Having used this setup before, I already knew that it was going to be a capable climber. The brakes were provided by four piston Shimanos, and they're exactly what I would have needed or what I would have picked. The KS dropper worked well, and the WTB Volt seat wasn't the most comfortable, but it does what it's supposed to do. Seats are one of those components where opinions can honestly differ. However, I think most people will agree that if you sit long enough, you'll never truly feel comfortable. You just learn to complain less. The shock was a DVS Topaz. And I don't really have much experience with this, but I still think that it was a great option with the ability to adjust as you go. And I would argue the average rider probably couldn't ask for more. The front fork was a Marzocchi Bomber Z1 coil. This was surprising as the majority of coil forks that I've used before don't handle this well. Had it not been for the sticker, I probably would have forgotten that fact. And I honestly cannot say enough good things about this setup. If you wanted a wonder description of this bike, I would use the word capable. This bike is undoubtedly one of the better bikes I've used. If I had to nitpick things about it that I didn't like, I would say the dropper trigger required more force than I would have wanted. Although this didn't mean that I couldn't use it, it did make utilizing the dropper more difficult to engage, whether it was fully dropped or fully raised. Another thing, I didn't like the way the cables ran down the bottom tube. It just wasn't aesthetically pleasing to me. But I'm also not the type to prefer hiding cables down the tube, as externally routed cables are just easier to set up. Another area that I would like to note is that this bike is kind of expensive. But I will note this. This is kind of the definition of a bike that you buy once and you cry once. This is one of those bikes you can buy and not feel the need to upgrade. While I can't speak as somebody who bought this bike, I would say it made per perfect rental as is. Overall, I can say that I had an amazing time with the Ripmo AF. Now, I did think about renting a carbon fiber bike and I do understand the difference between aluminum and carbon. I honestly get the debate, but I couldn't resist the urge to try up the Ritmo AF. Having done so, I can say I don't have any regrets. While having more time and more days to use the bike would have been worthwhile, I can say today was quite the learning experience. I will also mention that while I was climbing up the trail, a fellow rider ran up on an e-bike and he blew right past me, which left me overwhelmingly jealous, but it didn't sour my experience at all. This bike is just that good. And if you stayed until the end, I honestly would like to thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. You know, I'm tired, and I'm very envious of the guy I saw with the e-bike, but I can honestly say, today was a good day, and I think tomorrow will also be a good day. Always gotta stay positive. But I really am envious for the guy that you like. Oh well.